So if you come to your files and open up one of your designs, you will see your cards here and you can select as many cards as you like. So let's say I'm going to select two. So you press down the control key and select as many as you like. I'm going to select the two. Now there's two places you can export from. You can go right to the top, go to file and export, or you can export straight away to PDF because PDFs the most common format for sharing with your colleagues, especially management. But if you want to export any other choice, you can do it from here or you can go to the column on the right in design tab and go right to the bottom and you'll see the export options here at the bottom. Now when you see the options here, you can select a size of your exports. You can do it twice, double the size, triple the size, or you can do half the size if it's too large, if it's a really huge prototype. And you can select JPEG, PNG, SVG to share with other wireframing tools or PDF. We're going to take for this example JPEGs and export. And what you're going to see, I'm going to send it to the desktop. And let's just see what that looks like. So it's coming up now. And we're going to get that exported. Yep, we've got that now. So let's just open it. So you've got each design card will be separate JPEGs. It won't be together. You will have them separately here as individuals. Now you can, now if you want to export it as a group, so you don't want individual cards, you want the whole user journey together, then you need to group them together. So once you've grouped it and how do you do that? You right click any of the cards and do group selection and you select it as a group. Now when you export it, what's going to happen is it's going to export all of the imagery, all of the wireframes together in one group. So I'm going to export it as group 29. Um, that's just the way it's default saved as. Let's just see that now. It's going to come on the desktop. And there you go. That's group 29. Now you've got both wireframes together. And that's how you can export more than one of the cards or one part of your user journey and you can send it all as one. So you could have literally the whole user journey in one JPEG or one PDF, or you can have them separate. It's really up to you. And that's how you export in Figma. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'll see you on the next one. This is 1UX1. Thank you for watching.